I've found that there are a number of really great Final Cut Pro white balance tools that aren't really talked about. And I wonder how many of these five secret tools do you know about? Today, I'll reveal these five tools and how to use them to fix white balance problems. And stick around for the end when I show you how to fix white balance on several clips at once. Blast off! All right, so here's a shot of me and obviously it's a little bit blue. I know the background is blue, but my face looks a little bit blue and so does my shirt. If we open up the color grading tools, we can see that I'm blue as well. So go to Window, uh, Workspace, Color and Effects, or just press the shortcut Control-Shift-2. And that opens up these waveforms and vector scopes that we can use to fix our image. So I'll click on View and select these two. And then I'll click on this little icon here and change it to RGB Parade. All right, that looks better. So we can tell things are off a little bit. The blue is up a little bit compared to red and green. And so we need to fix this. Fastest way is to select your clip and then click on this enhancements menu and select balance color or press option command B. Then go to the video inspector. If it's not open on the right here, just click on this button and then click on the video inspector. Under effects, you'll see this called balance color. Change method to white balance. And then you'll see this eyedropper if we move over the video. If you don't see the eyedropper, just click this eyedropper icon right here and it'll bring it up. Then click and drag on something that you know is supposed to be white, like my t-shirt. That looks better already. So here it is without the fix, and here it is with the fix. That's a good improvement already. You can see too, when I turn off the balance color, you'll see the waveform over here change. All right, for this next example, I want to switch from RGP Parade to Overlay. And then let's select the clip and go to the video inspector and in crop, select this little icon here. And that will bring up these crop windows controls. And what I want to do is I want to isolate and crop to just a white section. So my shirt. Now we can see over here that the colors are a little bit off. We've got red down here and blue kind of green here. We want them all to be together and make a white line. That's when we'll know it's balanced. Go to the color inspector by clicking this button here and then where it says no corrections, add color wheels. Down here on the temperature, go ahead and adjust that a little bit. See if we can't get those colors to line up better. See if I go one way, they really start to separate or the other way. We want them to come together and form a white line. Then we can use the tint as well. See how the red's kind of on the bottom? See if we can bring that up a little bit. All right, that looks better. Let's bring our shadows down just a little bit and our highlights up just a little bit. And reset the crop and go back to Video Inspector. And here's how it looks after and here's before. Looks a lot better. Are you ready to fix your white balance? Has this been helpful so far? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will see this video? And in a bit, I'll show you how to apply a white balance fix to several clips at once. For this next technique, I want to use the vector scope and the Luma waveform. So we'll change that one over. Now the vector scope is really good. It helps us make sure our skin tones are correct. You should see a line right here. If you don't, right click and select show skin tone indicator. All skin tones will be along this line right here. Like Michael said, it doesn't matter if you're black or white, your skin will be along this skin tone indicator. So we'll use that to make sure our skin looks good in the video. And then we'll use this waveform to get our skin in the right range, which is about 35 to 70 on this scale. All right, first thing we need to do is isolate some skin. So let's go to the effects browser. If it's not open, click this button and scroll down to the mask section. Then drag and drop draw mask onto your clip and then click to add control points. 
we're going to draw a mask around my beautiful, lovely neck. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we've got my neck isolated, my skin tones. And we can see here that my skin isn't quite on the line. It's a little bit to the right and pulled down away from the red, right towards the blue, which we knew was the problem. Also, my skin tones are probably a little bit low. They're down here pretty close to 35. We want to boost them up a little bit to this area. To do that, go to the color inspector and add a color curve. Let's work on boosting up our skin tones here. So I'll click and drag this Luma curve over to bring up my skin tones into that area. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's get rid of some blue. Notice how in the vector scope, my skin tones are moving towards the blue. So let's reduce the blue a little bit here. We'll click and drag down right here. And you'll notice the vector waveform moving. We don't want to go too far, just a tiny bit to get it lined up with that skin indicator line. Okay. And then let's add a little bit of red back into the picture opposite of blue. Not too much, just a little bit. And I want to bring blue down just a little bit more. There we go. That lines up pretty good with the skin tone indicator line. And this is looking good too. So go back to video inspector and let's take off draw mask. And that looks pretty good. Don't look so blue anymore. I'm not so sad. Now let's undo or let's turn off the color curve and we'll see before and after. Before and after. That's looking really good. Now. Let's say I've done all this work and I need to apply this to other clips. How do I do that quickly and efficiently? Well, I got you. Check this out. I've got two more clips here. They're really just copies of the clip we've already fixed, but I won't, let's pretend that there are other clips from my tutorial and I need to fix them. So instead of selecting this clip, and adding a mask and then adding the color curves and tweaking everything, I can select this first clip that I already fixed and press Command C to copy. Then I can select the second clip and I can press Command Shift V to paste attributes. I'll unselect the mask. I don't want to include that, but I will include the color curves. Then I'll press paste. And just like that, I've transferred my changes from this clip to this one. An even better way is to save it as an effects preset. I'll select my clip where I've made the changes, and then at the bottom of the inspector, I'll click on Save Effects Preset. I'll give it a name. We'll call it Dylan's Lovely Skin to Touch. <laughs> and we'll select a category where we want to save it in our effects browser and your category is this over here on the left, these right here. So I'm gonna save it in this one called Stupid Raisins, and then I'll press Save. So here's a clip that needs adjusted. I'll go down to Stupid Raisins, and I'll find Dylan's Lovely Skin to Touch. I can drag and drop it on, or if my clip is selected, I can just double click, and it adds it there. And look at that, we have our color curves already added. So here's our before and our after. Nice. You did it. You fixed the white balance. Nice job. Bad white balance is only one of the problems you'll face as a video editor. You'll have to deal with overexposed footage, grainy shots, or blurry video. It's a fact of video editing life. But don't worry. I put together five professional pointers to improve your video quality in Final Cut Pro. Take a look, I dare you.